This is a quick recipe for my homemade hash brown potatoes. First, you're going to start off with two russet potatoes. Then you're going to peel them like so. It's okay to leave a little potato peel on there because it gives it a little character when you fry them up. So then you're going to dice them. Next, we're going to wash all the nasty, nasty starch off of it. We don't want any of that. Okay, back to the cutting board. I'm going to add some some spices and I like to show what I use and this is garlic and pepper seasoning garlic powder you can't have too much of that a tad bit of your Creole seasoning garlic powder A little bit of Creole seasoning, not a lot, because I'm not a spicy person, but it does give it a little kick, just a bit. And, of course, my um, paprika. And I'm using my hands because this is my food, and I'm going to toss it. I'm tossing it. No one else is eating this, but me. I want it to all be coated. Next, you want to take a plate. I have a glass plate. You want to spray this with any kind of cooking spray that you may have. I have canola oil. You want to make sure that the cooking towel is saturated. Oops. Take your potatoes, push them onto the plate. Spread it out. You don't want them to be stacked on top of each other if you can help it. And what I am going to do with this, in case you're wondering, is put it in the microwave. This will be going into the about five minutes. So after about five minutes in the microwave, we're going to spray that. And we're also going to use some extra virgin olive oil. And give it a good coating. And wait till this heats up for a minute. These are the hash browns from the microwave. Oh, this is hot. They have cooked a little bit for five minutes 
and so they should be ready to just be ground and that is the reason for putting them in the microwave so the only purpose for this is to ground them I felt that if I cook raw potatoes or even the frozen ones in a frying pan they would eventually become too hard or too overdone so you what you want to do is you want to make sure you just have one layer of potatoes turning them stirring them very frequently or they'll be burned on one side and you won't have even the cooked hash brown need just a little bit more olive oil just a tad there you go These are the hash browns. When I'm done, they're golden brown. And delicious. This is what I do with my hash brown. And this is how I eat them. I add, I add eggs. Scrambled eggs. I also add a little bit of sausage. And to top it off, I add a little bit of cheese. Inspired by Jimmy Dean's breakfast bowls. Thanks for watching.